The governor's push to densify zoning across Colorado might not be dead after all. Centrist Democrats in the state Senate gutted the bill, but now House Democrats are trying to revive the plan that would allow more housing to be built in more places, even if city leaders don't like it. The governor's biggest priority of this legislative session was fiercely opposed by local leaders, Republicans and Democrats, who worried about a loss of local control. It got watered down by moderate Democrats into just a housing needs study, but more progressive Dems in the House are bringing back the idea ideas of lifting local restrictions on accessory dwelling units and increasing housing density along transit corridors. Everything that we have done with respect to uh, trying to uh, enhance the bill and restore its key parts has been in conjunction with the Senate and our partners over there. So we're certainly cognizant of our vote count and we're keeping close track. Of it. We were grateful that there was a path from the Senate to the House and we feel incredibly lucky that we get to build back and put the integrity of the bill and infuse that once again. Timing is working against this bill. Even if the House signs off on those amendments, it has to go back to the Senate with less than a week left in the session. Democratic Senate President Stephen Fenberg told the Colorado Sun that would be a challenge.